What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome back to another FC24 video. Hopefully you're having a good afternoon and Foot Champs isn't giving you too much pain. But today we are here to talk about the two brand new player of the month cards by way of Latara Martinez and Mohamed Salah. And of course the road to the knockouts They've already been upgraded in game, which is absolutely fantastic. So first and foremost, guys, we've got Latara Martinez and Mohamed Salah. We're going to start with Salah. Um, I really like this card. I really like Salah in game in general. And every time I've been blessed enough to use any of these three tradable cards in draft, he's always been a joy to play with. Um, and this card is just crazy good, right? Like for me personally, I'm giving him an engine or a hawk. Depends on what you're what you prefer with him. The engine gives him genuinely outrageous dribbling. Great pace and great passing. And then he's already got very good physicals and great shooting. It's really good. I also think a Hawk chem star for him is brilliant because it's, again, great pace, near perfect shooting and incredible physicals for somebody who's a little bit more agile that you don't really see that sort of level of strength with and, and whatnot. Um, so I think, I think Salah's very, very good. Obviously, his play styles are beautiful, right? The finesse shot plus is incredible. Chip shot's good. Rapid's very good. Travella's very good, you know, Vanessa Plus and Travella. I mean, that is a great combination, right? Um, the thing that I'm a little bit wary about with regards to this card is, first of all, you know, his 89 rated gold card is literally only twos and threes worse, yet the 89 rated gold card on the market is only 180,000 liquid coins. The 90 rated inform is just ones and twos worse. Uh, this this card is 600,000 coins on the market. And then he's got the 91 rated card that is marginally marginally worse. It's got one less passing, one less physical. And this one is only 820,000 coins on the market. So the fact this SBC is coming in at a million coins worth of fodder, I think it's too much. I think it's too much. If I was a Liverpool fan, I'd be doing this in a heartbeat, no question about it. Um, but if uh, as just a FIFA, or sorry, as an FC24 player... I think this is probably a little bit too expensive. I wouldn't personally be putting my uh, fodder into it, but let me know if you're going to be doing that um, in the comments section down below. It's it's really heavy for teams as well. It requires an 88, an 87, three 86s, uh, and then three 85s as well. So, and, and, you know, as we know in this game, in spite of the amount of 83 by twos and 83 by threes that EA keep giving us, to get this level of team is difficult. And, you know, if you do get those 83 by 3 packs, you're more than likely just going to get three 83 rated cards in it. Um, Latara Martinez SBC is here. It's nearly 100,000 coins. Now, I really, really like this card. Um, his inform is 40,000 coins. Four star, four star, has technical flair and Traveller. His player of the month also only has technical flair and Traveller. Also four star, four star. But this card has is, is been boosted by two pace, two passing, and then ones across the board elsewhere. Yeah, do you know what? But under under the same same guys as uh, as uh, Salah, I don't know too much about this one. What I do like about this one is it's an eighty three with an inform and an eighty four with an inform. The reason why I think that's way easier is because if you do manage to hit like an eighty five duplicate untradeable, you get your champs rewards and you get like an eighty seven Modric duplicate untradeable. Putting an eighty seven rated duplicate untradeable into an eighty four rated squad negates the price of that squad massively and although i haven't actually used this card in game at all this year i think this is a brilliant looking card he's got incredible dribbling for the striker that he is he's got incredible physicals very good shooting and good pace and i think there's only one chem style i'd be putting on him and that is the hunter he goes up to 95 acceleration and 89 sprint speed with near perfect shooting crazy physicals and very good dribbling and Again, I, I think with Evos this year, with the amount of promos we've had this year, with the amount of packs we've had this year, with the amount of SBCs we've had this year, I probably wouldn't do this card just for the sake of it. But if you are running an Argentinian, Syria, or Inter Milan team, I think this is a great option. And I think, uh, I wish EA would bring like loans back in for like SBCs like this, because I'd trade a gold team to get a 10-game loan on this guy, just to see how he plays, to see if I want to do the SBC. But let me know if you're going to do Martinez down below as well. Um, and then let's have a look at these road to the knockout upgrades. Guys, they are wild. Erling Haaland is now up to a 94. And overall, since this card came out, he has gained two pace, two shooting, four passing, and four dribbling with two defending and two physical. And obviously with this card, he's been upgraded to four-star skill moves. And look at these stats. You don't need to improve his shooting he's got 99 finishing positioning 97 shot power and 89 long shots which is the perfect amount of long shots for the dipping Travella. and even though he doesn't have the Travella play style 
he can still hit the Travellers. You just have to hold the button to initiate instead of it like automatically initiating. Uh, he's got really good short passing now, good curve and decent vision. He's got great physicals outside of stamina. And then he's got great dribbling. Of course, balance is a little bit low. And I do think there's only one chem style for him and it's got to be the engine. Um, I mean, it gives him 99 sprint speed, 90 acceleration, a nice boost in passing stats that are already half decent for him. Gets his agility and balance into the mid 80s which is wild for somebody who's six foot five and then crazy dribbling and yeah this is his final form so to speak he can't get upgraded any more than this but this is an absolutely bonkers bonkers card hence the reason it's 2.7 million coins we've also got robert Lewandowski. obviously hasn't got that uh, other upgrade yet because barcelona have not guaranteed to get through to the next round However, Luka Modric is now up to a 93. And as you can see, based on his first card, he's gained two pace, three shooting, two dribbling, two passing, three defending, and four physical on Luka Modric. And of course, this Modric has got Traveller Plus, Incisive Pass, Long Ball Pass, Whip Pass. All of these are incredible, incredible play styles and technical. And this card is just... I mean, his, his 91 rated, or this card when it was a 91 rated was already incredible. Like, I see him in high-level players' teams, in elite division teams, in pro players' teams, in teams that people that go 20-0. and 0. It is one of the best cards in the game. His passing and his passing play styles are incredible. His physicals are very good. His dribbling is out. It, like, it's team of the year level. We're in November. We're in the start of November. And it's team of the year level. And because of the way this card's been built up now, with a shadow chem style, I think this is, like, one of the best cards in the game. Incredible defending. Good physicals, incredible passing, incredible dribbling, very good pace, and good shooting with Traveller Plus. Like, what a card for only 372,000 coins. I can't believe it. It's mad. Aussie men yet to get a single upgrade. I do think he'll get the double upgrade for the wins when Napoli beat Braga. I don't think Napoli are going to beat Real Madrid. Um, whether or not Napoli qualify, I don't know. Bruno Fernandes, still no upgrades for him yet. Bukayo Saka is now upgraded to a 90 and, uh, of course, very, very, very likely that he's also going to go up to a 91 when Arsenal qualify next game. We just need one draw from the last two to uh, guarantee qualification. Uh, I'd hope that we'll qualify uh, top of the pile. Now, I was looking at Saka to buy from our Road to Glory at about 830k uh, a week or so ago. And I was like, oh, no, nah, because like, when they get the upgrade, they dump and like they crash in price. Now nearly a million coins for this Bukayo Saka, which is, uh, yeah, I, I was looking at him about here. So maybe about two weeks ago. And his price has just increased massively. Now, his upgrade, he got one pace, one shooting, two passing, one dribbling, one defending, and two physical, which is quite nice. Once again, his dribbling is really good. Of course, he's got the four-star, four-star on this. He only has technical and flair, which is a bit sad. That's not very good. Uh, I'd probably give him an engine. Uh, great pace, great dribbling, very good passing. Stamina's great. Aggression's great. Shooting is good. This really is a really good card in spite of the lack of play styles because of the four-star, four-star. So Bukayo Saka is a really good option there as well if you've got him. Edin Dzeko already upgraded to the 89, so we checked him out in the last video, but just a bit too slow. You know, even when he gets the next upgrade, he'll probably go up to 891, sorry, 81 pace. I still think he'll be a bit too slow. That dribbling as well is going to need a big boost for him. Dembele yet to get upgraded. PSG lost to AC Milan 2-1. They've got Newcastle and Dortmund to go. That, that group is tough. It's really tough. Um, I expect probably uh, PSG to still qualify, mind you. Mario Goethe got the double upgrade for the double wins from Frankfurt and the fact that they've now qualified. He got three pace, three shooting, two passing, two dribbling, two defending, and four physical for Mario Goethe. Now, he is four-star, four-star. This card is only 37,000 coins. And compared to his gold card is wildly improved. He's got four-star, four-star, finesse shot, incisive, tiki-taka, technical flair, and first touch. Some really, really good play styles in there. 99 stamina is great. His passing is already very good as well. Really, really good uh, vision, really good short passing, and then other good stats as well. His dribbling's quite tidy, and his shooting's okay. I wouldn't be using him as uh, somebody who's shooting either, which means for me, an engine on him would be the key chem style as well, giving him incredible passing, good pace, good shooting, good physicals, and really good dribbling, to be fair. You know, like 87 reactions, 88 agility, and everything else is in the mid to high 90s. A really, really good card. Very easy to link this year as well. And only 37,000 coins. Like, I think that's a bargain. I think that's a really good option for Mario Goetze. We've got Diaz 
has had his first upgrade. We've already looked at that. Uh, of course, uh, Liverpool lost to Toulouse, so they haven't qualified yet, which will be his next upgrade, so we can't look at that yet. Bonucci, I mean, Union Berlin are having probably the worst season in their history. I, I think they haven't won in about 16 games now. I, I dare say I think they've even just lost everything apart from that 1-1 draw to Napoli in those games. I don't think they'll qualify. I don't think they'll get two wins. I don't think Bonucci's going anywhere. We've got Joao Pedro from Brighton who beat Ajax 2-0 again. He's now got his first upgrade and probably will get a second one. And this one's going to be a really good card by the time it gets up to an 89. EA gave him one pace, one shooting, two passing, one dribbling, one physical. Sorry, one defending and two physical. Uh, this card is four-star, four-star. He's only got rapid play style, which obviously isn't great. But this is a very, very good card. And I think a Hunter Chem style on him is wild. 99 jumping, 93 stam, 99 heading for a six foot tall guy. He's got incredible dribbling stats outside of a little low balance, good passing, and then 99 pace and near 99 shooting with that Hunter Chem style. It's an unbelievable card in my opinion. And how much was he? 500k, that's wild. We've got Di Maria, Benfica again having a terrible, terrible season. They've had a lot of injury problems uh, for, for them this season, but in general, they're struggling a little bit at the moment. So I'm not sure Di Maria is even going to get upgraded at all. We've got Acuna, who's also having trouble with uh, Sevilla. Uh, they're doing bad as well, uh, both league and uh, and um, Champions League. I wouldn't be surprised if they would be happy to go into the Europa League, to be fair. It's a shame he's not going to get upgraded because his card already as an 88 is brilliant. And I bet it's cheap because it's unlikely he's going to get upgraded. It's still 80,000 coins. It's a crazy card. Just doesn't really have any chance of getting upgraded. Dries Mertens still needs one win. Not impossible. I, I, I could see Galatasaray beating Copenhagen. I could see Galatasaray getting like a draw or a win against Man United at home as well and qualifying out of the group. So Mertens still has the potential to go up to an 89. Bit on a bit of a knife's edge. He's only 24,000 coins, but if he does move up to an 89, he could be a really cool card. We've got DePaul who's been given the plus one because Atletico Madrid slapped. Celtic, he's been given one pace, two shooting, one passing, one dribbling, two defending, and one physical. And this was already an expensive card because it is a good card. He's got very well-rounded physicals, very well-rounded passing, very well-rounded dribbling. Four-star, three-star for him as well with finesse shot, incisive pass, long ball, and technical. I think for me, it would be a shadow chem style on him and running him as like a second DM or as a box box midfielder. Gives him great pace, great defending. And then, yeah, as we've already mentioned with the other stats, he's just very, very well-rounded. Uh, and when he inevitably gets up to an 88 as well, I think he's going to be very, very good. Um, we've got Luis Openda got the double upgrade from Leipzig. They have now qualified with three wins from their four games. I think guarantees them qualification because of other results. Um, oh, no, wait, hold on. They haven't qualified, have they? they he's been given a plus two because of the new inform system. Oh, does that mean... Hold on, hold on. Who did I look at before that was an 85 up to an 87? No, he went from an 87 to an 89, and they haven't qualified yet either. I was thinking that because they have obviously won the first match, I don't even know if they did win the first match, but EA gave Goethe an 87 to an 89. I need to just have a little uh, look right here. Mario Goethe. Let's have a look at Frankfurt. Let's have a look at their... Europa League Group G. Let's go down to Group G. They have qualified. So they're, they're seven. That's, that's what I thought. I thought because it, it's just that these guys haven't like noted that they've qualified. I thought because they won the first game, they've got nine points. And because of the way other results have gone, they are guaranteed qualification. So yeah, they're guaranteed qualification, which does that mean then that um, Leipzig have qualified as well? I can't remember if they... Uh, I can't remember if, if they won their first game as well. I assume that they did. I assume that they, they've qualified as well. They're Group G. Yeah, they've qualified as well. So Zvezda and Young Boys drew against each other, uh, which means Leipzig are eight points clear. So Appenda has got the full upgrade. So he's been given two pace, three shooting, four passing, two dribbling, two defending, and three physical. And uh, he's actually doing really, really well uh, in Leipzig colours as well. And... He's got three-star, four-star, finesse shot, rapid, quick step, and Traveller. Good passing for a striker, like 85 short pass, reasonable vision. Great pace, good physicals. There's two chem styles I'll go for for him. Either a marksman to boost up that dribbling, that strength, and that finishing, or just a finisher. Um, great, great shooting boost. Very good dribbling boost. Makes him a 92-rated striker. He's only 285,000 coins, but 
The fact that he's got the uh, Timo Werner easy link as well, quite surprising. Like That is a crazy, crazy good card. And although he's not the tallest at 5'10", 99 jumping, 97 heading is really, really nice. Um, so appender has been given the upgrade. Conrad Lima is now upgraded again. He got one more pace, two more shooting, one more passing, one more dribbling, one more defending, and two more physical. He's 190,000 coins now. He's actually on the downtrend, which is what I expected with Saka now that he's got his full upgrade. Uh, simple card, you just pop a shadow on him. Reasonable dribbling, good physicals, reasonable passing, very good pace, very good defending. Three-star, three-star with some decent play styles. Block plus, which is nice. Bruiser, which is actually really, really good. I think people don't really appreciate how good some of the physical play styles are. Uh, Relentless, which is great. Slide tackle and incisive pass. So he's a really good DM. And obviously, if you've got other Byron players, he's a good one to link those together. Uh, we've got Andre Silva. He was an SBC. And I think people will regret not doing this card, if I'm being perfectly honest. He's been given two more pace, one shooting, two passing, one dribbling, one defending, and one physical from his 86. But the overall upgrade he's had so far has been absolutely wild. For 35,000 coins, four-star skill moves, flare and chip shot, not the best play styles. But this card's crazy. Six foot one. You pop a hunter on him or a hawk if you want the, uh, the extra physicals, but he's already got 99 jumping. He's got really good pace, really good shooting, Good passing for a striker, really good physicals and good dribbling with really good reactions, really good ball control, good dribbling and good composure. Outside of the play style, the lack of play styles, this is a genuinely incredible card for an SBC that was 35,000 coins. I'm not sure people expected um, Raul Sociedad to qualify out of a group with Inter Milan, uh, Salzburg, Benfica uh, in there, but he has. So there you go. Um, and again, I think they've won all four games so far, haven't they? Uh, so we've got Sissoko went up to an 87 for Toulouse because they got the win against Liverpool. Uh, he's 84,000 coins right now. What was his upgrade? He got one pace, one shooting, two passing, one dribbling, two physical. He's four-star, four-star, which is quite nice. He's only got technical and flair. Dribbling's really good outside of composure. Pace is great. Shooting's good. I'd be giving him an engine personally. Boost that passing, get that maxed out pace, almost maxed out dribbling. And yeah, that's that's a fun card. Again, especially if you're a Toulouse like fan, like this is a real good card for your club, which is really, really nice. We've got Awar up to the 87 that was already done. We've got Darmian, the objective card that's now been moved up to an 87. He got two more pace and two more physical. This card was good anyway, let alone as an objective card. I think this is now a great card. Five-star weak foot, can play centre-back or right mid, not that you'd play him at right mid in my personal opinion. But with a Shadow Chem style, he's a 92-rated centre-back or a 93-rated full-back. Like, what, genuinely, what a card for an objective card. His passing's brilliant. His pace is brilliant. His defending is near perfect. His physicals are very, very good. His dribbling is very good for a centre-back or a full-back. He's got five-star weak foot, and he's got jockey, which is a good play style. This is a mental, mental card. EA have done us Like, both Andre Silva and Damian, the objective and SBC, both very, very nice. Diego Costa has been upgraded for Villa. Uh, now that they've got the... Oh, he should have been double upgraded. Oh, they haven't qualified yet. They've just got the wins. He was already upgraded. Uh, Dodo has finally been upgraded for Fiorentina. He got a plus two. Uh, he's 100,000 coins at the moment. Um, his plus two was two pace, two shooting, two passing, two dribbling, three defending, and three physical. Um... And then, yeah, for me, a shadow on him, top pace, good defending and physical, good passing, very good dribbling, and rapid play style. It's a nice card. It's a nice card. It is 100,000 coins, but it is a good option. Uh, I don't mind him at all. Um, a good Brazilian right back as well. Then Bruno Guimarães yet to be upgraded. Reina has been upgraded. I think Reina was an objective as well. He was. Of course, Dortmund has still got a chance of qualifying out of this group as well. He's got his first upgrade now. They beat Newcastle twice, did Dortmund. And uh, Reina has been given... He's been given a plus two, even though they couldn't possibly have qualified yet. Or could they? Or have Dortmund, uh, Dortmund qualified? Or have they given him like a bigger boost because he was an 84 up to an 86? There's no way Dortmund have qualified, surely. Group F for them. No, they haven't. That group is on a knife's edge. So they've given him a plus two EA, which is really, really nice, actually. Two pace, three shooting, two passing, two dribbling, and three physical. He's four-star, two-star, which isn't the best. He's got some nice play styles, which is quite nice. And this was another objective card. So again, for me, this is a really nice card for an objective card. I think I'd go with an engine on him because I play him in a cam. 
Great passing, great pace, great dribbling, good physicals, really good shooting from range, and some good play styles. That's really not a bad card, to be fair. That's, that's a nice option, that is. Uh, we've got Kudus has been upgraded for West Ham for that second win. He, he also went from an 84 to an 86. This is, I think he was an SBC that I didn't do. I thought he was too expensive. I gave him two pace, three shooting, three passing, two dribbling, and two physical. He was an SBC at 86,000. In hindsight, you look at a card like this now and you think, actually, four-star, three-star, first touch, flair, and technical, not the best play styles, but good pace, great dribbling. I'd probably be going with a maestro on him to get that uh, reactions up, get the passing up, get the shooting up. His pace is already great. It's a good card. I, I, I personally stand by the fact that I'm happy I didn't do this SBC. I don't think I would have used it before. I don't think I'd use it now. I think there's a lot of cards like him out there. And then we've got uh, Francis Coquelin, another SBC. They finally got the second win in there as well. He was only 54k. Now, I really like this card. Um, he's got slide tackle play style, three star, four star, but just good stats in general with a shadow, good pace, good passing, good dribbling, great defending and good physicals. They gave him two more pace as well, along with two more dribbling, which is quite nice. And it's likely he'll get a third upgrade up to an 87 as well, which is quite nice. Jonathan David, can't even get into the little team at the moment. Leo were in all sorts of trouble. Millard didn't get upgraded. Jonathan Klaus has been given his first upgrade as well from an 85 to an 86. They gave him two physical and two defending and one across the board everywhere else. 23,000 coins for this card. He's got really good play styles. Anticipate, long throw, relentless, and whip pass. I'm surprised he's as cheap as he is because his play styles are really good. You apply a shadow to him. He's got great pace, great defending, good dribbling, good passing and good physicals. It's, for me personally, a good card. Okay, he's three-star, three-star, but I still think it's a really good option. And then Pepe has also been upgraded. Plus two, uh, Porto got the win against Antwerp. Three pace on him, two defending, two physical, three passing, two dribbling. I mean, this card's good. Even for 20k, this card's good. Good pace, great defending, great physical, reasonable passing for a centre-back. A little bit weak on the defending, but uh, not a bad card. And likely to go up to an 87 as well, which is quite nice. Uh, Pedro, second win for Lazio against Feyenoord. Feyenoord were incredible that game. I don't know how Lazio came away with a win. Likely to get qualified out of the group now as well, probably taking a win against uh, Celtic. Pedro's been given three pace, two shooting, two passing, two dribbling, and three physical. Of course, he's got four-star, five-star, finesse shot, and Travella, which is really, really nice. Little weak on physicals. Otherwise, I really like this card. I'd go for a maestro on him. Great dribbling. Good, very good passing. Good shooting. Bit of a weird pace split, but not bad. And then just a little lacking on physical. But the four-star, five-star makes him a super, super usable option as well. Nemanja Matic has been upgraded plus two. Three pace for Nemanja Matic. Three defending, two physical as well. And then two across the board in shooting, passing, and dribbling. And all of a sudden, this is... This is nearly usable. Six foot four, press proven bruiser, long ball pass, three star, three star with a shadow chem style. He's got very good pace, great defending, very good physicals, very good passing, and outside of agility and balance, incredible defending. Do you know what this screams to me? Center back. Six foot four, yeah, 91 rated center back, and every possibility goes up to an 87. I think that could be a really, really good card. We've got Hinkapi has been upgraded again. For Bayer Leverkusen now that they've guaranteed qualification. EA gave him just the one pace, two physical, one defending, one dribbling, and two passing. Um, I mean, this is a great card again, right? Shadow gives him super pace, super defending, very good physicals, very good passing for a centre-back, and great dribbling as well. He's only three-star, two-star, but he's got jockey, block, and slide tackle. Again, it's a, it's a really, really good option. And actually, Bayer Leverkusen have got some really good cards in the game already. Um, to link him to as well, which is quite nice. We've got Hector Bellerin had already been upgraded. I don't think uh, Real Betis have qualified just yet. Um, Sildilia has now been upgraded. He's gone up to an 85. Bit, bit low on composure, but a shadow on him at centre-back. Great pace, great defending. Good physicals. Two-star, three-star, long throw. Eh. There's a reason he's 17k, even though he could be a centre-back with 91 pace, and I think he just misses a little bit of the key things that make players good in this game. Uh, Kalulu, no upgrade just yet. Pedro Gonsalves, no upgrade just yet. Wefa 
Bergvine and Machado, no upgrades. Serginio Des, no upgrade yet. And Armati, the same as Classy. So that is it, guys. But there are some really, really cool upgrades. Might be worth running a draft to see if you can get some of these upgraded players and test them out before buying them off the market. Let me know if you've got any of these in your team or if you're now going to get any of these for your team because of the upgrades. That is going to be the end of the video for today. If you did enjoy it, be sure to leave a like rating, comment, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. For now, guys, I'm out. Peace.